content is one of the most time consuming and complicated aspects of the SEO process. Even the most well-versed experts require time to produce rank-worthy content. However, the process can be sped up using Search Atlas's sophisticated AI content generator to demonstrate how to combine writing know-how with AI-generated content for the most rank-worthy blogs and landing pages, I will be walking you through writing an article with AI integrations. To begin the process, open the SEO Content Assistant tool and click Create New Article. Next, add your target keyword or keywords. Today, we're going to do our example based on low light houseplants and no light houseplants. After you've added your keywords, you can update your article title to make it easier to find among the list of articles in the SEO Content Assistant tool. The tool automatically populates focus terms, data on pages ranking in the first results, people also ask questions, and suggested links. We will use all of these in combination with AI to produce an article with high ranking potential. To begin writing, I add my title. Then I ask AI to produce what I'll use as the foundation for the intro, body, and sometimes the conclusion. As you can see, it automatically suggested several plants based on our topic. Each of these will become an item in my list style article. All it takes is a small amount of reformatting. I will go ahead and speed up the reformatting process, but you can see how easy it is to simply break the text in certain sections, then reformat it to work for as subsections for the article. Next, I will change my focus terms view from clusters to completed and headings. I can now finish off my list of plants based on common headings in the top 10 performing pages for the same keyword. Notice within minutes, our content score went from a zero to a 43, and we'll continue to watch this climb. Notice how our content score went from a zero to a 43 within a matter of minutes. At this point, I will continue to add plants from our headings list, stopping once I reach 10. As you can see, there are other plants that did not make it into our top 10 list. However, we can still use them by adding another section. To add these additional focus terms, all you have to do is hover over the term, click the copy icon, and then paste them into your document. Repeat until the process is completed. Next, use the questions section in order to give your article a little bit more search appeal. To add a question, you'll use the same process that you did for focus terms. Simply hover over the question, then click the copy icon, then paste the question into your article. Questions present an easy way to use the AI generator to produce answers to questions that users may have. They're also a great way to add topical depth to your article. You can also come up with your own questions based on the focus terms or an offering that you may have on your website. Then you can use the AI generator to create the content and answering the question. I did this by adding a section that highlights plant lights. This works perfectly for our client who sells plant lights. Next, I will find a way to get the AI generator to cover other focus terms, or at least create the foundation where I can add them in. So here I added a question about plant problems to try to prompt the AI generator to include focus terms such as overwatering and root rot. And while the AI generator did not include these terms, it did set up the perfect way for me to include them. Next, I'll take a minute to fine tune what I already have and reformat the text to make it a little bit easier for the reader. 
Once that's completed, I will go back and begin filling in my sections within my plant list. I prompt the AI generator with questions that will provide my readers with information they need on each of these plants. This will result in a brief description of each plant on the list, the conditions that the plant needs to survive, as well as the top varieties or most popular varieties of the plant listed. After completing all 10, I go back and delete the text I used at the beginning of each plant section since its purpose was just to prompt the AI. After that's done, I use the AI subtopics tool to see if there are any other sections that would benefit my readers. If you prefer, you can begin with this tool to generate an outline if you do not have an outline in mind. There are some really great options here, including the one on other low light plants. However, the one I think will benefit my readers the most is the one that gives instructions for low light plants. To add one of these sections to your article, all you have to do is click in the text where you want the text to appear and then click add to article. Next, we'll begin inserting suggested links into the article. You will find this section under suggested links next to your focus terms. If you're a freelancer or agency writer, you may need to add your client's website like I did here. If you're writing about your own site, the tool will automatically generate links for you. To include some of our external links, I'm first going to fill out our intro to our list a bit more so that we have a spot to insert the links logically. Once that's done, you can easily insert the link by copying it, highlighting the text, and then using the link button to paste the link into the text. After I've added my external links, I begin to add my internal links so that our article has a strong internal link structure. To do so, all you have to do is locate text that's already highlighted purple. Highlight that text with your cursor, right click, and then use the suggested links options. Finally, I write my conclusion. As you can see, using AI makes the content creation process just take a fraction of the time. It's really that easy.